Hello, welcome to another day in my life. It is Thursday, June 10th, and I just had a complete planner fail. So once again, just like the day in the life from last week, my morning was a little bit flustered. I've been prioritizing sleep, which I've talked about before, and so my morning routine is a little bit more condensed. And then I also like need to be kind of at my desk earlier than normal to kick off the day with our summer intern and make sure she's in a good place and has everything she needs to get her day started. So I've been a little bit flustered in the mornings this past week. So I'm kicking this vlog off during lunch, but my plan was to get on this call and then kick off the vlog after the call, sat down on my computer, pulled up my Google Cal to go click on the Zoom link. The call is at one, not noon. Here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this vlog off and then get back to work and get some work done for the next hour and then get on this call at one. But I wanted to quickly tell you what it was about because it's something that is a goal of mine and something that means a lot to me that I, I don't think I talk about enough anywhere, any, any kind of social media platform, any of, of my goals videos because it hasn't really been something that I've been working on, which will make sense when I tell you what it is. And that is being a public speaker. I love public speaking. I know that that is bizarre and very, it's like one of the most common fears that people have like after death is like public speaking, but I happen to love it. I love being on stage. I just, I don't know if that's being a performer, but I, I'd love it. And every time that I get the opportunity to give a presentation or to do some sort of moderating or public speaking at work in any forum, I'm always the first to volunteer. I have told every manager and mentor that I've had at work that it's something that I love and I would love to be able to do more of. And so they always nominate me for things when it comes up and I want to do it more related to my business. I have been asked to speak at a number of different planner events over the last few years and I've loved that. I've loved all those experiences, mostly at those events. I love getting to meet you. I love getting to have people come up and just like, just talk about planners and goals and whatever. And I just, I love those kind of off the stage interactions at those events, but I, I want to do more speaking. I want to do more public speaking. And so about a year ago, I joined, actually it was more than a year ago because it was pre shutdown. I joined this public speaking mastermind with this intention of upping my game and speaking at more events and putting my name in the hat and doing more things. And then of course everything shut down and I'm still a member of the mastermind because it's just so valuable to me in more ways than one for my business besides just the public speaking atmosphere. I've met so many other amazing entrepreneurs and business owners and it just has provided me a lot of value on top of that. But it is still something that now that the world is opening back up that I want to do more of. The next year might be a little bit more difficult in terms of being able to travel for events because of all the other wedding stuff that we've got going on and my limited vacation days and travel funds and being able to make that work. But it is a goal that's important to me and something that I want to build into my business and into my life. I, I want to be on stage. I want to go to events and I want to get, I want to get the message out there. I want to be able to share all the things that I, okay, not all the things. There's no way I could fit all the things I know about goal setting in one nice, neat presentation. But to the extent that I can make a difference for somebody's goal setting journey with a presentation, just, it would, it would mean a lot to me. And so I have been investigating other opportunities. In fact, I was able to give a goal setting workshop presentation virtually to a law firm here in the Northeast. They're actually located in Connecticut and that was incredible. It was like a lunch and learn event for them. And we talked about goal setting and I've, it been in the in conversations with a couple of other companies to do a similar event for them as well as been a part of a couple different online summits that's been the big thing in the last year is this online summit world and so i've been able to give presentations for that but as the world opens up more i want to to figure out how to do it more in person and so i'm putting it out there i'm telling you because you never know do you never know there might be one of you who your company is looking for a lunch and learn pres pre presenter presentation workshop you might know someone who runs a an in-person conference for whatever it is and a goal setting workshop might be a perfect piece of their their uh, lineup I couldn't think of the word so I just wanted to put it out there that is the call that I have today at one not at noon but something that I am working on and that I want to make a priority in my goals and my business and my life I also went ahead and made a smoothie to enjoy during this call because I just feel like I drink smoothies faster if I'm distracted and doing something else while I'm drinking them. Does that make sense? Um, and then it doesn't get all like melty and weird and now 
just, there's no call. But I'm excited about the smoothie that I made today. I didn't put in any extra fruit besides the frozen banana, but I added some of that caramel. I know I keep talking about this Quest caramel, <laughs> salted caramel protein shake, but when I tell you I bought a big pack from Amazon that I've got to get through, like, it was a big pack. So it's it's very sweet and it I can taste that caramel flavor, whereas most of the time my smoothies take the taste of whatever the frozen fruit that I throw in it is. Okay, it is about 5.30 and I have not started my communication routine yet. Normally I do that between five and six, but I got distracted with a couple random things that I'm just super excited. I'm just like in a happy kind of giddy mood. Uh, one of them is clicking approve on the next batch of Plan With Lakin merch. So just a couple new things. I'm, I'm trying to do like a couple items at a time. So this first launch was all the drinkware. So we did water tumblers, which I love mine. This is my last cup of water for the day and mugs and wine glasses. And then this next batch is kind of some fun, smaller things. So that's the only clue I'm gonna give you. Um, and so there's three new products, but some of them have more than one design. So I'm really, really excited. I just clicked approve on those. So we will get those into production. And as soon as they get to the Oh Hello store in Grand Rapids, then I will be able to upload them to the website and I will let you know when all of that goes live. And then I also went ahead and did some wedding stuff. I I booked my first dress fitting. I actually did try on my dress last summer. Um, it was just the perfect timing of everything. So if you are new here or you just don't remember because it was a long time ago, almost a year ago, we were down in Texas. We spent the summer at my parents' coast house down in Corpus Christi, Texas. And there was a COVID um, exposure for my brother and my dad. And so we actually swapped places and they quarantined for two weeks down at the coast house by themselves. And we went and stayed at the, like the main house, that sounds so weird, but like their normal house in San Antonio um, with my stepmom and my twin brothers. And so we were, it was fine. We were obviously all working from home anyways. It didn't really matter except that it was now we were living with three other people before it was just the two of us down at the coast. But it was actually really nice. It was nice to get to like have dinner and hang out with them. And while we were there in San Antonio, I got the call that my dress had been delivered and like I didn't need to go in and try it on for any particular reason but it is very close to the location of like where I bought my dress and where it was staying was close really close to my dad's house and so we went my stepmom and I and I tried it on and it zipped and it was just like it made me so happy um so I scheduled my first fitting and then I also scheduled my hair and makeup trial and I scheduled them for the same day so that I can do my hair of course I'm gonna have to drive, drive in between because my hair and makeup trial is going to be in Austin where we are getting married and then my dress fitting will be back down in San Antonio at the place that I bought it um, but I scheduled both of those things today and I'm just just in a good mood I'm just happy so now I need to get to my communication routine um, it's okay if it I goes a little bit later because we are just having leftovers for dinner tonight um, I've been pretty good and on top of cooking at home and all the like meals that I planned I've been cooking at home and so we have a lot of leftovers and Sam's mom is coming to visit us this weekend and so we're not going to continue to work through our leftovers this weekend because we're going to go out to eat or I don't I don't know if she wants to cook anything at home or if she just wants to go out I feel like New York has so many amazing restaurants that when people come to visit we typically do a lot of eating out so I um we need to just get through some leftovers tonight so I don't cook and so that saves me some time this evening. So I'm gonna get started with my communication routine and then I'm gonna pop back on and show you something that I got in the mail. Also, one thing that I meant to bring up about eating out. So I saw someone post this on Instagram and it really just like really hit home talking about how if you want to lose weight and if you are on a weight loss journey that you cannot splurge likely every time that you eat out. Now, depending on how often you eat out, maybe you can. This is not gonna be, this is gonna be different for different people. For me, and typically the frequency at which we eat out on a regular week when we're not seeing a bunch of people or people aren't visiting, that might be able to be the case. But I know going into this weekend that we are gonna eat out a lot. So I am, and I started it this weekend. If you watched last week's weekly vlog, I talked about how when we went to brunch on Sunday, I ordered what I normally order for brunch, which is X, X Benedict. That's what I get no matter where we go to brunch. But I got a side salad instead of the breakfast potatoes. So I started to just kind of work with that mindset about like, maybe I don't need to splurge 
on whatever I feel like eating and be a little bit more thoughtful even when we're eating out as I'm on this journey. So I'm gonna work on that this weekend as we go out to dinner um, and you know, order some salads or get something a little bit healthier or even like get what I want but only eat half of it maybe and go ahead and pre-wrap it up and take the other half home or something along those lines. Just, I think I, thus far in my weight loss journey, I have been focusing on what I do at home and doing a good job of what I do at home. And that, I mean, that's all been true. Like I don't have any drinks at home besides like water and coffee. I did make a fun drink for lattes with Lakin yesterday with the non-alcoholic tequila, but I don't, I don't drink any alcoholic drinks at home. I stay on plan with what I have planned to cook and cooking those things that are pretty healthy. And then if I have dessert, it's usually like a small piece of chocolate. Um, so I, I feel good about what I'm eating at home, but I know that I don't always make the best decisions when we go out to eat. And so that is something that I'm gonna work on being a little bit more mindful about this weekend. Okay, so the mail that I have to show you is from a company that I had never heard of before, before they reached out to me. And normally if I get approached by a company that is like rings or strings or discs or one of those types of planners that I don't use, I usually decline. But this company impressed me in so many ways, not just with their products, but with their services and their professionalism. And I just, I couldn't say no. And I really wanted to, to show you this company for those of you who do like ring option products. And I was chatting um, in my Instagram DMs with the owner of this company. And she was like, maybe I'm gonna convert you. And she might be right. So I have already dug into this box because I could not wait. Um, but I am excited to show you all of the things that I've got. So the company is called Milrose Notes. You can obviously go to their website, which I will leave linked down below or check them out on Instagram. It was packaged all nice and beautiful, but like I said, I like ripped, ripped right into it. So one of the reasons I really wanted to take a look and I'm really considering using this as a work planner is this beautiful white product. I don't even know what this is called, y'all, because I'm such a newbie when it comes to ring products. But this white, oh, it, just, it does have gold embossing on it with their logo, but it's it's very small. Uh, I just, it's so beautiful and classy. And as I'm preparing to go back to work in person, I just feel like, I don't just feel like it's so beautiful. It does have gold rings. Obviously I would prefer silver, but I love this. It's got pockets over here where you could put sticky notes, business cards, reminders, etc. And then she sent me, there's like, there were multiple things that she sent me that were included. One of, there's two sets of dividers. One came with, was like tucked in the planner. I think it was these with the gold, but then she also sent me these with the white, which I love because I mean, y'all know I'm not a big gold person. And so I love that these dividers have white lettering on them. So they are clear plastic dividers. We have a schedule, to do, strategy, projects, meetings, miscellaneous, and then there's some quotes. I mean, obviously I am here for all the quotes. This one, oh, hope is not a strategy, planning and execution is, and then this one says vision board. And then this set, so this one has the same set as those white ones. It says schedule to do, strategy, projects, meeting, miscellaneous. This set, which is gold, but it's got a different, um, different, category. So five-year plan, travel, inspiration, lust list, gratitude, and ideas. Because I'm using this or potentially using this for a work planner, this is likely a set that I probably won't reach for. Um, I guess maybe once we get back to in work travel. Oh, and there's also this um, yearly calendar at a glance. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. Okay. Then there's this package of fun that has these like, what looks like, um, Actually, I thought they were pocket folders, but maybe they're just more dividers. This one says inbox, and this one says note to self. And then these little quote cards. If opportunity doesn't knock, build the door yourself. Like nothing the world has seen before. Out of office, oh, I love that one. Um, I guess these could go here in this little pocket. I'm not really sure what you would do with those. And then there's a little set of, I think these are sticky notes. So it says visionary on them and there are these white sticky notes. 
And then, of course, the most important part, the actual inserts, which came all beautifully wrapped up in this plastic, I ruined that one, and in this um, like black box. It's just like the packaging, y'all. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the actual planner came in this beautiful pouch, which I feel like I would use to transport it to and from work because it's just so pristine and white and perfect. So what she sent me is called the executive set. Again, their products are really geared towards professionals. And I just love that. It's very streamlined, very classic. And um, so what she sent was the executive set. And there are so many pages that I'm really excited. So the first one I'm excited about the most is obviously the daily schedule. If you've been around, you know that I use a daily planner typically for work. And and at home, while we've been working from home, I've been really liking the ability to kind of map out my day. But as we go back into the office, I don't know that I will need to do that as much. And so what I love about these daily layouts is that it has the to-do section and then it just has a space for the schedule. So instead of already being like hours, I mean, you could totally fill this in with all the hours that you would want. There are 17. So if I really wanted to do half hours, I could do my full eight hour workday and write it all in. Or what I could do is fill in just the meetings I have and I can see what my schedule looks like. Honestly, what I probably will do, I will probably fill in all the hours and then just put my meetings in. I probably won't fill in to-dos like I do now, which is why I'm okay with it being a little bit smaller. And then it has this section that says contacts. That's the only section that I like don't really know what I would use for in my job. That's just not something I would need. And then a note sections. I could just use this for another note section. And then it's double-sided. So you would do the day on the front and then the back. And so it's got a bunch of these daily schedules and then it's got a 30 to 60 day implementation plan. This is super cool. I've mentioned before that for projects, we have a project management team that does all that and just tells me what to work on, like what's my responsibility. So this is not necessarily something that I would use, but it's, it's cool that it's included if it's something that you need. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, then we have a project timeline, which I do think is really cool. Again, my project management team would likely do this, but what I like is that if I had a smaller project that was my own, it would give me a space to break that down. So we've got a bunch of those. Then we've got project status. So it's got like, you know, accomplishments, barriers, risk mitigation to do. Again, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use these project pages because we have a project management team, but if you are somebody who uses that for work, that could be helpful. This is a cool page. So lessons learned, you've got project or meeting, date attendees, what worked well, what didn't, additional observations, kind of for that um, you know, post-mortem meeting that you have after a project is done. And then you have these SWOT analysis pages, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Lots of very geared towards work. These are the ones I'm so excited about. Daily time management. I love this. So this is the, the, it has a name, this grid, the person that created this grid, but it's urgent, not urgent, important, and not important. And you kind of map out all of your tasks between these four different quadrants. And then they, it kind of tells you what to do. So if it's urgent and important, like you're, you're going to do it now. If it's not urgent and important, you're going to schedule time to do it. If it's urgent and not important, can you delegate these to somebody else? And then not urgent, not important, can these be deleted? And I just love this. I don't know if I would do it on a daily basis. I might do it more on a weekly basis, which would make these last a lot longer, but I definitely could see myself using these pages. These pages, I also could see myself using. So these meeting note pages. And what I love is that I, because it's rings, I could just take this out and take it with me to the meeting and take notes now that once we're gonna be back in the office in person, instead of taking my whole planner, although it is beautiful and classy. Uh, I just love that. So we've got all these meeting note pages. Then we have what's called an SVAR. It's kind of like a SWOT analysis, but a little bit different. Um, so it's kind of analyzing a situation and figuring out what you're gonna do and what you're gonna move forward. It's kind of the, the if the SWOT's what happens after, the SVAR is what happens before. Um, again, I don't know that I would really use those pages, but they're interesting. Touch base, I like these. I would use these for both my meetings with my manager. I have a weekly one-on-one -on -one with him. And so I would use this to like record topics. I usually have like a running list of things I want to talk to him about. And I usually put it in the note section of that day's daily layout or whatever. Does that make sense? Like of, I just do it in advance. Um, but I also could see myself using one of these also using one with the summer intern that I'm currently managing and all the topics that I want to touch base with her on. Um, I could see myself using those. Then there are these pages that are daily, weekly leader rounding. I don't know that this is something that I would use because I don't, besides the summer intern, I don't have a team of my own, but always 
a helpful option. By the way, I will do a pen test at the end. This paper feels really nice. Okay. Then you have these weekly self reflections. So date, mood, self reflections, opportunities, gratitude, lessons learned. Not something I typically do now on a work basis, but something I feel like could be beneficial to start incorporating, especially like I said, once we get back to work. And then at the end, it's just a bunch of notes pages. So we've got some line pages and then we have some dot grid pages. So let's take that notes page that I kind of messed up with the sticky on the back. Let's move all the stuff out of the way. Let's zoom you in and brighten it up a little bit. The sun went behind the clouds and so the lighting got a little bit, a little bit worse. Okay, so let me grab um, my Sharpie S gel, which is my favorite, whatever type of pen this is called, my favorite mate flare my Sharpie pen, which is what I use in my plum paper planner. Let's just start with those. I've got all my other pens here. So we've got the Sharpie Ash gel. This paper is also bright white, which I absolutely love. Not really worrying about writing, super nice. I'm just trying to get a feel for how it feels and then whether or not it shadows. Mm, I don't really like the way the Sharpie pen I mean, I don't really like, the, I don't love this pen in general. I use it on my plum paper because it's the best pen for that paper, but it's not, not one of my favorite pens. Okay. So if I flip it over, it look, oh wow. I mean, the, the S gel does ridge a little bit, but I mean, that's really normal for pens like that. The flare does not really shadow at all. So that's likely what I would be using on this paper is my paper mate flare, which y'all know if I can have a planner that it's for my paper mate flare, I am here for it. So I think, I think this is gonna be my new work planner, especially when it's time to go back to the office. I mean, I've always said that what has what has held me back from using rings is too much flexibility. And then when things get messed up and I want to use a new page or I wanna move things around, it's too much flexibility. But for work, I am way less concerned with it all being perfect all the time, to be honest. Like with work, I am, I know that I'm going to turn the page the next day. I know that I get to go home from it at the end of the day or, you know, move it to a different part of my desk right now. But I just, it is easier for me to envision myself being okay with it in a work setting than versus a personal setting. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna put my little dividers in and set it up. Like I said, there will be some of these dividers that I don't use um, and some of these inserts that I don't use, but I definitely am excited about the daily schedule pages, the meeting notes, that time management page, and then having the touch base pages, the, the notes pages, just extra stuff um, that I, I'm excited to give it a go. So, and then before I forget, what I also really loved about this company and thought was really cool is that they offer an advisor. So you can schedule a free personal session with a member of their team who will guide you through every step of the planning process. From basic to advanced use of inserts, advice on developing a personalized planner or custom designs, the advisors will help curate a system tailored for you. I just think that's so cool. I have not signed up yet to try that, um, but I, I just, I think that is such a unique offer that we don't have right now in the planner community. So I just wanted to share this company with you and if you're interested, I'll leave it linked down below. The camera is still set up on the tripod. Y'all Sam is the best. So I typically go to Trader Joe's on Fridays. If you've been around, you know that. I just, I don't like to deal with the weekend crowds, but I like to start the week fresh with food and then if there is some sort of any meal prepping I want to do for the week on Sunday, I can do that. So I usually go on Fridays during lunch and that's how I kind of avoid the crowds. So I had started to do a little bit of meal planning today. I was going to finish it tomorrow, but I'd started working on the list and putting kind of the staples that we always get at Trader Joe's on the list. And since Sam's mom is coming to visit this weekend, I sent her a text that said, Hey, is there anything you want me to grab from the store for your coffee or for breakfast or, you know, snacks or anything specific that you want from the store? And then Sam texted me aside, like we're two doors around, but he texted me and said, I'll go to Trader Joe's tonight. And I was like, you're the best, you're the best. So now I don't have to go tomorrow and it just makes things so much easier. Um, I've been putting off some of the cleaning things and normally I try to do a small thing each week and I've been putting some of them off to tomorrow morning so that it can be fresh and clean for when she gets here. So um, having that extra time to not go to Trader Joe's tomorrow um, really makes a difference for me and I'm just, I'm just so thankful. Also, I hate going grocery shopping. <laughs> all right, so Sam got home and we unpacked all the Trader Joe's stuff and then we had some dinner 
leftovers. I just had that leftover salmon and Brussels sprouts and risotto. I actually showed that in the last day in the life vlog. Um, Sam had his, I think yesterday or for lunch or something. So I still had mine. So that's what I have for dinner tonight. And now I'm getting ready to kick off our Patreon silent co-working call. So I feel like I mentioned Patreon always in passing, but I don't necessarily always kind of make sure to explain in case you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, if you, also, if you're new here, this is my cat, Charlie, and she likes to be involved. Anyways, uh, so Patreon is a platform where creators can create additional content for their community in exchange obviously for a membership fee and so i created a patreon community last summer we are coming up on our one-year anniversary and i actually have really something something fun planned for our one-year anniversary and charlie's too anyways so i created a patreon community focused all on goal setting and helping hold you accountable and answering your questions on your specific goals and so there are three different tiers okay okay she's making so much noise on the tissue paper that's still all over the desk yeah let's just sit on my lap okay anyways there are three different tiers to patreon the first tier is the facebook group it's kind of the base level it also comes with a couple new things that i've added recently which includes a silent co-working session so all it is is once a month we hop on zoom and we hold each other accountable to get something done so it's like we're in a virtual coffee shop working together and i'll tell you in a little bit what i'm going to work on tonight during our session the other new thing that I've added in the last couple of months that I think has been really helpful for our members is a goal setting action session and you can get that with just the first level of patreon and all it is it's a one hour zoom call each month where we sit down and we set our goals for the next month together and so if you're using the power sheets or the moxie life or no goal setting system at all I walk you through kind of the process that I do when it comes to setting my goals every month for June, I'm actually expanding it a little bit to encompass like a quarterly refresh. It's gonna be probably maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I haven't completely mapped out what it's gonna look like, but I've scheduled it already for that last Saturday in June. And I think it's just become one of the most valuable pieces of the Patreon community, if I'm being totally honest. I love the Facebook group. I love seeing everybody's progress and I love checking in. I usually will do a daily post Monday through Friday in the Patreon group, encouraging you know engagement. I ask a question. It can be goal related. Sometimes it's just like a get to know you post so we can get to know each other. But I do love the Facebook group, but those goal setting sessions are my favorite part of that first tier. The second tier includes an additional monthly Q&A call where I get on Zoom and it's a smaller group and I will answer any specific questions that they have about their specific goals. And I get so much out of those calls. I usually always walk away with some sort of action that I'm gonna take and change in my life and my goal setting journey. And so they're just some of my favorite calls. And when you join that tier, you also get access to all of the past calls so you can go back you can listen to them podcast style because they're long they're long sessions but you could go back and listen to them watch them and get all of that amazing knowledge and then the top tier of patreon is texting with me so i will give you it's not my real phone number i'm sure a lot of you figured that out it's a service but you it will to you it will look like you're texting with me and i will check in with you every day making sure you're making progress on your goals i can answer any really specific questions that you have about your goals whatever you're struggling with and that is where I've really gotten to know a lot of the members of our Patreon community on that one-on-one -on -one level and being able to text with them and really um, just get, like I said, get to know them a little bit more and what what really is important to them. It's It's become really special to be able to help them through their specific goals and everybody's wise and like the goals that they're really focusing on are also different like it feels like when i try to come up with examples i only pull the same examples but one of the things that always blows me away is how different everyone's goals are across the entire community so i just wanted to give you that little bit of a background um if you are interested in joining our patreon community i will leave a link in the description box below you can join at any time and yeah, I'm excited to get on this co-working call with them tonight. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog before I do that, just because what I have been doing, so it's from 7 to 8.30 Eastern time. There is also a West Coast session. I personally do not hop on the West Coast session because that is way past my bedtime, but I provide a Zoom link and share it with the group. That is at 7 p.m. Pacific time for those either night owls who want that accountability at night or our West Coast friends. Um, because 7 p.m. Eastern, they're usually still at work or getting home from work or whatnot. So anyways, it's from 7 to 8.30, and what I have been doing, 
was gonna tell you about that, is from seven to eight, I've been working on something, and then from eight to 8.30, I do my evening routine. So I take my laptop with me all around the apartment while I do the different pieces of my evening routine, um, and just am held accountable to getting it done in that time frame while I'm chatting with them. So. During the first part of the session though, I am going to work on my one little word. And I had this moment earlier today where I like forgot that during the co-working session, I also get to work on something because it's always in my calendar as like a time block, like it's blocked off. Even in my daily, I was like, yeah, it's blocked off. And then I realized like at 3 p.m. today, oh, I also get to work on something during that session. But what I have been doing the last few months and that I believe I will continue to do is that's when I work on my one little word. Now, when I'm on my game and when I remember that, I actually watch the videos for the one little word project in advance and I get the pictures printed in advance so that tonight I would actually be doing like the crafting piece of it and the journaling and all of that stuff. I would already have all of the supplies that I need because I forgot that is not, not happening today. I am going to actually just watch the sessions today and then order the photos hopefully and then also order the photos while I'm placing an order to the Walgreens photo department for the vision board. If you watched the last day in the life, I talked about my vision board that I'm gonna make on the wall. So I'm also gonna submit photos for that tonight. That's the goal of what I'm trying to get through during our co-working session. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my water filled up, get, this office is kind of a mess. I have seven minutes. I probably won't have time to tidy up the office. I'm probably gonna tidy up while I watch the One Little Word class during the session. So I'm gonna close out this vlog here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. Eat out, eat out. I have heard this, and it is. I, again, I will leave this company link down in the comments, not the comments. Okay. And then from eight to 8.30, I've actually been going ahead and doing my morning routine. So I take my morning, really like in 